I'm going to show you some of the odds we've actually co collected the, in the field, some of the or samples, lithium or samples we've collected in the field, and we'll run some analysis on them. I'm going to show you the all samples along line with the result, what it looks like, and for some upcoming, so that when you see some of these samples, we'll be able to um, I mean, look at them and see it is a possible, possibly whether you're looking at spodumene or lipidolite or that and that, or if you are mapping a pigmentite where you have some elevated numbers um, in terms of various oxides, you might start you know, thinking or actually probing deeper to see what that may actually contain. Um, my name is N.C. Gideon. Uh, please always try to, once you finish watching our videos, try to subscribe. Um, subscription is free. It's, 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 it's a no charge so that next time, whenever we actually update and all that, you can also get our uh, videos. So let's go why we actually most of the times we're trying to work on lithium now because lithium seems to be the, the new oil we have in Nigeria and it's more awareness are coming up day by day, more findings are coming up, more explorations are actually need to be um, need to be conducted. Um, because it's one of the you know critical raw materials which have been announced because of the green energy, green technology and the you know the quest to actually um reduce carbon um, content in the atmosphere and all that. So lithium has become one of the of the metal that is of high demand. In short, the demand now is more than what has been actually predicted. The demand keep increasing day by day, more than 250%, more than 300% now. So it's one of the critical metals that is actually sought over everywhere um, in, in the world, you know, um, Australia are very good in production, China, also Canada and all that. So here in Nigeria, we try to see um, some of the things, um, just a few samples we're going to show here. We've done a lot of, but we just want to compare some few here. If you look at this all sample results, you can see we've done analytics here. We're just showing about eight samples. Here you can see that, interestingly, out of eight here, we're able to see two that are showing positive and these two um let's just say three because of about 2.01 before two percent you know it's more side is like nothing but now it is market now that will tell you how the demand has keep on you know increasing and if you look at this analysis now you can there's something because it's aluminum silicate uh, you can see uh, aluminum is like definitely increases. It's high here, it's high here, it's high here, and lower in some of the places that you don't have, you don't have um, a lithium oxide content. You can see here it's four, you can see seven and all that. So definitely, when your pegmatite starts showing that of increase in aluminum oxide, it's, it's it's a flag for you. You need to look at it very well and give up for other other ones. And also, the you can see. SiO2, the silica here uh, also reduces, you know, reduces and increases here. You can see that this is typically of a uh, kind of um, 72.2 is tending to quartz. So when we see, we're going to look at some of these samples in line with some of these results. You see the samples itself and in line with the results. So you'll be able to, you know, because there are a lot of scammers right now. A lot of people are in the field trying to Make money out of ordinary stone and not out of ordinary quartz. In short, this has actually happened to a lot of us, and and we've been able to see, you know, by visual inspection, see certain things. Especially when it comes to petalites, the one that looks like quartz and all that. So, and there are a lot of other mixtures that come with mica, and come with other feldspar, come with biotite and all that. So you find out that if you're not careful, you're going to pay for stone instead of uh, lithium oxide you are looking for. If you look up here, you find out that this that have up to um, high, um, it has about seven points, doesn't have uh, potassium oxide and sodium oxide, very, very low. So this is like it's bigger about spodium. And here is slightly a kind of uh, uh, slightly elevated numbers for potassium and sodium. And this has also elevated number for potassium also. So maybe a kind of a combination of um, um, uh, um, um, what do you call it? The 
Spodiman and uh, um, because of um, I counted of mica also. So the pedolites, this can also be that. So but let's look at them so you can at least a visual inspection of each of them. So having seen this, we we actually know why lithium has become you know far a kind of different from other other metal because of its reactivity it's very very high it's of all really in nature and in short it can it's very reactive it can react combined that it has a lot of compounds with a lot of other material so and it's also the lightest of all metals you know so this makes it an easy thing um in terms of um the best option for battery and uh the new age batteries now that they're actually using military cars. Um, if you look at mineralogy of lithium, you know, it, it doesn't actually occur as elements, you know, in nature because of its reactivity. It, it can form, you know, compounds with a lot of more than 100 minerals and all that. Now, but the most important thing we're actually working on are almost um, that are common uh, are the spodium and the lipidolites. Uh, Better like the hectorite are not actually that, that is the clay part. You know that the jidrite is the highest slope of that uh, common. But if you look at the expediment, it doesn't actually have that of potassium. You, you see the potassium in lipidolite um, and also you see them actually in the hectorite. So having this will tell you what that will be another video. You know, you need to study this to understand. The possibly the kind of how these are going to be reacting or some of the signatures you might, you might actually be looking at when you want to apply radioactivity amount, you know, kind of radiometry in searching for this. Um, another thing interesting here, if you look at spodium and the conside, now from experience, and the conside most of the time looks like pores that are pinky, and most of the time people sell rose pores in, in respect of this. It actually also happened to me and they supplied a kind of rose quartz. If you are not careful, they will supply rose quartz in terms of uh, conside. I'm going to show you you want some of the rose quartz. Um, I didn't have a clear picture here, but I'm going to show you some of the rose quartz we actually tested. You can see the pedolite is micaceous, you know, it, contains, uh, it contains potassium, rubidium, and association. And this, this is more of, you know, you see it very common. Nigeria here and also petrolite, the castorite is, you know, the this one is um is colorless and sometimes it can become pink, grey, or some slightly yellow and all that. But most of the time it looks like as if it's quartz. You know, if you're not careful, you think it's quartz and you can actually overlook this in the field. The ambligonite, which is one of the best form of it, you know, um it's not that just common, but in Kogi State, there have been some um, some places that this is very, you know, this is actually common. It has has content very um, content high content of lithium oxide actually seen in digs. Now when we look at our sample one here. If you look at our sample one, you know, these are sample one is what gave us up to seven point seven four. And if you look at it, uh, I didn't bring in the the dig thing here, but if you look at it, you can find out that it has legs. Potassium and lex shape, but I mean oxide is very, very high. The if you go back to the first table I showed, you can see you can see the silica content is about 43 percent and all that. Then you can see what it looks like to have a, you know a sample that will be giving you an interesting readings. Then look at this sample two, nothing there. The sample two looks like it, looks like it. Um we try to sample this. You know, it looks as if it's pretty light, it looks as if but if you look at it, you find out that it's more of uh, uh more of course because this sample um as if it's highly baked. If you look at one here, if you look at the crystals, look at look at it, it's it's more of a, you know, very high temperature form on that very high temperature so you know. Then, um, but it's confusing. It's very, very confusing. You can't really actually say, but you know, visual inspection in the field with experience over the 
over the time, a number of times you've done it to be able to tell you certain things about so certain samples, you know. And look at this. This was this was an interesting for me, thing for us because this is this looks like a You can see this is a rose quartz, but if you go back to what we said before, you find out that this looks as if it has a right with the color, very interesting. Anybody will see that will jump into it and all that. But at the end of the day, all the samples we tested of this form, so this is not the only sample. We tested about four of them. You know, all of them came out negative. And they've already started supplying this as, you know, one of the best oils that contains lithium and all that. So even sometimes some lab, if you use some lab that are not actually very good, <laughs> yeah, some of them will see some of these things and believe that it takes. So they start working from the sample before they even give you a result. So testing is very, very important. Then let's look at our sample three. You see the sample three, sample three has 2.01. It's a kind of um, lipidolite. You can see some, some micaceous materials. You can see the biotide, you can see the kind of slight effects, but this I think is the first one. This I think what actually reduced some of the quality, to reduce some of the quality of this, um, this uh, sample, you know. So, if you look at it, you see, uh, this 2.0, but this has some elevated number of um, potassium and sodium and all that. So, that's why we think it's not all just about sodium, but some other impurities would have actually brought down this. If well sorted, definitely you might get an interesting um, sample out of this location. Also, look at sample 4. When we saw this sample, we believed it was interesting. So we believe it was one of going to be one of the best samples because of it seems you know because we believe that nicogranitics and some of the uh, I type granite or S type granites you know have some of the whitish minerals and all that. So looking at this seems uh, we are there, we are there, we are going to hit it. But interestingly, you can see what he reported. Um, he reported the aluminum oxide itself is very low, it's very low, less than twenty, and a little more oxide. Giving us 0 0.88. Wow. And we can see one of the high sodium there, but it's an interesting thing to look at in the field, you know. But at the end of the day, it doesn't actually turn, it doesn't actually turn to, to be it. It has more, 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 more of a silica in it as, as actually um, to what we thought of. Um, this is one of the best samples. Um, sample six, you know, um, sample six is, is, it's interesting. You can look at it, see how it it looks. Um, aluminum oxide here give us about over twenty eight percent, and lead oxide here is about six point four. Uh, you can see the thing. This should be an interesting sample for rocks because of some of the things we actually found, um, found here. So, um, looking at this sample, it was carefully actually picked. Um, some of the black minerals are not there. Um, the biotides that, that to be are not there. The silica is actually reduced and all that. So, um, that is actually, you know, the way you can um, easily recognize some of these things in the, in the field. So, I want to say that, you know, Overwhelmingly, it is very, very important that you understand, you see some of the sample, recognize them easily, and also, you know, know how to pick the right samples or, or samples to sample in terms of lithium ore. Because most of the things happening now is just anything that is pegmatized, is sampled, and actually sold and given to people as a lithium, lithium ore. I think um, in our other subsequent videos, I'm going to show you so many things about, you know, comparing your pigmentized results with other ones, or some of the pigmentized results that actually happen, how you can actually look at them and be able to infer possibilities of, of some LCT pigmentized around that region, um, around that region. So I think this, we're going to stop here for now. Um, thank you for actually watching our videos and also never you forget to subscribe. Have a nice day.